How do you feel about that whole transition? A lot of Canadian players coming into the league and they're doing their own thing. People like yourself, Andrew Wiggins, Anthony Bennett, just to name a few. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's big for the country. I mean, I think people are starting to see you know, the talent can they have at, the, at a young age, too. And uh, you know, I think it, as we continue to go forward, I think there's going to be a lot more you know, NBA players that, that step from Canada and hopefully you know, that, that make an impact on this level. Uh, Nesrif Long was telling me, I guess, that you're like a really big influence to him. Tell us a little bit about, I guess, like how you influence people like him and uh, Negus Webster Chan out in Hawaii. These guys are seem like you all are really, really close. Yeah, I mean, I played on teams with, with both of those guys. I mean, we both, you know, we're, we're real competitive coming in. And, and, and we both started playing against each other, and, and then we ended up, you know, teaming up, playing on the same team. But, you know, those guys, you know, I watch every game I can, um, you know, on the college level for them. And, um, I know they watch every game they can of me, and, and you know we always have feedback for each other and, and congratulations. And you know Nas was actually uh, you know one of the first people to hit me up, you know after the trade. And uh, you know, we're just really close. I think that's you know a good thing. We all just kind of have like a friendly competition kind of thing going on. Tell us a little bit about that background. How you guys all met? I know you guys are from different areas and parts of Ontario, but how did you guys all kind of meet? And how did you all keep that relationship going all the way into present day? Um, we played against each other at a young age, so it was, it was basically what city you live in. That's who you play for. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, after a while, we all started playing for the same AU team, CIA balance. So, you know, at that point, we all just kind of, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, got into, a, you know, being best friends. And, uh, you know, for the most part, it's like, you know, you see, you know, last year I'd seen Naz go out and, you know, hit five threes in the game. Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> you know, I'd hit him up and congratulate him. And then I'd go out the next night and try to, you know, outdo him. So, you know, it's, it's good to have, you know, people like that as your, your friends and, and people that you can, you know, kind of com compete with, but also have them as, as uh, you know, in your back. You mentioned uh, about the trade and how you are here in Milwaukee now. How do you like that uh, trade here in Milwaukee? How do you feel, you know, you fit here with this team, with the Bucks? Yeah, I think it's a really good. Uh, it was a really good trade for me. I think it's a better opportunity, uh, you know, for me at the point guard position. I think Phoenix, you know, has a, a kind of a log you know, there. And, um, you know, fortunate to get drafted there, but I think this is a, a, a much better situation for me. And, and I think the guys here, you know, really well for me and made me feel comfortable. What about Michael Carter Williams? You guys got a Syracuse connection. How was that? Uh, did you? Um, I'm sure you guys knew each other back in college. You know, y'all didn't necessarily play with each other, but how was that for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, when I used to uh, visit Syracuse and watch games, you know, we, we actually, you know, started talking, and, and um, you know, for him, he had the opportunity to go to the NBA. So. We didn't get a chance to play together, and it's, it's funny we get a chance, um, you know, in my first year and his second year, that you know, to be on the same team, to see what we can do on the college level. Last question, so I can let you go. Tell us a little bit what should people expect from you if they may not be familiar with your game. Uh, people back in Milwaukee, what can they expect from you, and what type of player are you? Um, you know, just a uh, point guard. You know, likes to get everybody else involved. You know, likes to make plays, make the right play, and uh, you know, just what he wants to win, right? Basically. Do you have any like personal goals or? No, not really. I mean. Uh, you know, I think everybody wants to do the best they could, you know, as far as, you know, individually. But I think at, at this point, you know, just, just making sure that I do whatever, whatever team needs me to do to win. And, uh, you know, everything else take care of itself. Now, this is the last question. Have you ever got the chance to just really think back, like, wow, you know, I made it. I'm in the NBA. This is like a dream come true. Have you ever had that moment just yet? Or? Yeah, a little bit at the start. But I mean, now it's, you know, now it's just normal. basketball. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the, the first time I subbed in, you know, Phoenix, I was uh, doing the jump ball against Kobe. So I think that was like, you know, kind of welcome to the NBA. But, 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 for now, it's you, know, you see these guys just another player going against. Uh, that's, that's how I treat everybody. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it.